bought a whole bunch of car stuff for Metsy. Yeah, and we're gonna test these custom-made products on a bunch of our cars to see if they actually improve the driving experience or if it's just customized crap. Starting with this thing. <laughs> a crochet steering wheel cover. Reminds me of my grandma's house, to be totally honest with you. $9. A veritable Parts. bargain. Uh, but it makes for a terrible steering wheel cover. I mean, it, it covers the dude. entire thing. Yeah, and I just imagine after like a week, that thing is a week. Looks like he's... Oh. Comes in a nice pink bag. Okay. Just like in the picture. Oh. <laughs> is this, let's just go over bag. the seat now. Oh my I love God. it. There's instructions. Oh, baby. Ah, okay, okay. This is making more sense. For safety concerns, we strongly recommend that you stitch the wheel cover tightly to the steering wheel to avoid slipping or use it only for decoration and remove it while driving. Uh, yeah, that makes sense because that's the other thing. This isn't going to have great grip on the steering wheel. Yeah, exactly. So I could imagine turning the cover and the steering wheel staying in place. So yeah, I mean, and it would kind of maybe look better if this was fully knitted yeah, in place. Yeah, but the, even the example photos. They, yeah, they just left it on there loose. They also just like left in the door panel trash and stuff. <laughs> is that a, uh, is that, is that Listerine? Let's see. Um, yep, there's, looks Listerine, like some Listerine. hand sanitizer. And some uh -oh. Chinese writing. Chinese writing. This is manufactured. All right, Justin, I think we need to install this on a car. You got any bright ideas? Uh, our brightest car. Adam's gonna love this. While Justin installs the seat belt covers, I have the steering wheel from the car and I'm gonna sew this thing on there. I wanna install this properly, you know? Especially so it's harder for Adam to remove. Okay, come on now. It's so slick. I think that's right. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, yeah, finding more hands. There we go, dude, there we go. It fits way better too than in the pictures, but it's so slippery on there, you definitely need to knit this sucker in place. Get to work. Yeah, well, you know. Oh yeah, look at that just coming together. That looks way better than the advertisement. Yeah, this is go. sweet and feel the grip, dude. Oh, that's gonna be man. very helpful to Adam wow. next season. Can I get a feel of that? Oh, that's like uh... Whoa. It's not bad. Not Pretty bad. good, right? That's not bad. Dude, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right at home in a race car. All right, so does this thing align your chakra or kill your vibe? I don't know about you, Justin, but my chakras are feeling aligned. I'm feeling pretty aligned, too, buddy. All right, Justin, what's next? Uh, NA Miata low profile headlight plug and play kit. Aha! Uh -huh. so yeah, this is like a half-height headlight. It's also rectangular. The Miatas were big, round honkers, so these will uh, update the front-end look on the Miata a little bit. And the reason there's only a portion of the components in this box is because one's already installed. Let's go look at it. Turn around, dummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so Heber spent the morning uh, installing one of these headlights, and now we're going to see it for the first time. Heber, hit that switch. Flip those lights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks way cleaner. You know what? I was a little bit on the fence, but that looks really cool. It's a high quality kit because it came with its own shroud to replace the OEM round shroud. Yeah, they look pretty so that's good. That's cool. Eber, how difficult was the install on this? How long did you say it take? Hour and a half, two hours? Not too bad. Oh, yo, I just felt another chakra snap into place. They're feeling aligned. Big thanks to Subaru for sponsoring today's video. Oh. <laughs> This is a 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Wilderness. And when they said this was the more off-roady one, they weren't kidding. This thing's got 9.3 inches of ground clearance. It's got skid plate and a matte black hood graphic to eliminate glare when you're tearing up the trails like me. The Crosstrek Wilderness comes with 17 inch matte black alloy wheels and all-terrain Yokohama Geolander tires. This thing's got revised gearing and 182 horsepower from a 2.5 liter Subaru Boxer engine. And on the way down, use dual function X mode with hill descent control to get optimal traction in snow and mud. <laughs> this thing is sick, dude. Like me, this tough looking body was built to do more than just turn heads. Subaru redesigned the bumpers for added rock protection and the roof rails to handle up to 700 pounds of static load. And when you need to bring even more stuff, the Wilderness has a towing capacity of up to 3,500 pounds. Inside its rugged exterior, you'll find over 120 cubic feet of total interior space. Like other cross tracks, the Wilderness is packed with great tech, like the 11.6 inch touchscreen, Subaru Starlink multimedia, a wireless charging spot, and of course, the impressive safety features of Subaru EyeSight driver assist technology. So, who is the 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Wilderness for? Well, it's for someone who makes adventure a priority. 
Yeah, it's a quiet drive on the highway, but the wilderness was built to go off-road, and when it gets there, it's good at it. To learn more, just click the link below. All right, what's next? Uh, something Etsy does really well is solve problems that OEM manufacturers will never solve. Yeah. And one of those things is loose chapsticks. Interesting. Lip balm holder. So this is a 3D printed lip balm holder that is $8.99. And it says it's in demand. 75 people bought this in the last 24 hours. Wow. I got to start. <laughs> some stuff on Etsy. Dude. How chap are your lips? Well, this just couldn't be more simple, could it? This little logo, car chap. Wow, look at that. With the top hat and the monocle and the mustache. A little dual entendre on the chap. I mean, if you spent a lot of time in the desert, like, I can see how this is useful, but it would just melt in your car. Uh, all right, we're gonna install it in my car. Let's go. All right, let's see. I think right there would be nice. Yeah, that's Yeah, make sure good. Jer's knees won't hit it. I actually would like to put it somewhere that they will hit it. If I could make riding in my car more annoying for Jeremiah. I think I would. I'll just center it up right there. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. Convenient. Yeah, maybe it will be more convenient than I think to have this just around. Whether it's chapstick or not that goes in it, mm. maybe I will enjoy it. I'm sort of in the middle, unoffensive. And up next, what do we got? These 549 sunglasses holders. Oh, this is really speaking to me. I got a bunch of sunglasses, and a matter of fact, I have sunglass holders, aftermarket ones, in my car. So let's see. <laughs> okay, what? This looks like that a looks ring. like a ring. Oh, pop. okay, I get it. I don't know if I love it. It's gonna let them rattle around a bunch. Mm. It's only $5.49, it's got four and a half stars, and it currently resides in 20 plus people's carts. They're thinking about it. Maybe we can help push them over the edge by installing this thing right next to the chapstick holder and see if it works. Wow, all the things I need in one convenient place. It's pretty simple. That's very useful to me. I have a lot of sunglasses. My eyes are very sensitive to light. Now, they're just just right there. I can hold two pairs. Well, let's see. Here, let's uh, push the limits. Oh my God. It's so convenient. I'm for it. That's a very simple, unobtrusive product. You can stick it anywhere. Shockers are aligned right now. Okay, up next, we've got more silly stuff. Portable record player. Actually, custom air freshener, choose six albums cover or six photo that your choice reco player air freshener personalized gift. What? There's, there's a video here. Let's just play that and maybe that'll make some things make some more sense. It spins. Okay, uh, okay, I see what's going on Yeah, here. it's like a fan. That's pretty dumb. That's what you call personality. Oh look, a little donut vinyl. Oh. Vinyl record-like oh. item. That's pretty cool. Generally when I'm looking at pictures, I want them to spin. Doesn't smell like donuts, that smell good though. Wow, wow. <laughs> that smells like high school, man. Let's install this record player into, I guess, my car again. <laughs> no, we'll put it in James's car. I think he'd like this. This is sure to be the quickest record player install ever in a car. Hell yeah. We try not to break these vintage vents. <laughs> a little heavy well, for that was an a... unforeseen issue. I'll just go to the bottom and then bam. Bam! Yo! Whoa, look at that! That wow, sucker's that playing spins. 45 RPM, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. This is like kind of a cute idea. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This would be a good gift. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Chocolates are aligned. Okay. I'm with you. We've had a lot of good products so far. Yeah. So it looks like we're on a roll with Etsy products. Let's see what the next one is. Rubber duck valve stems. Nice. For the low, low price of $10.20. What does it say on there? Activate, Activate with, with direct, direct light. light. Yeah, know. we understand we how stuff that. glows. That's how Shut glow up. in the dark works. So what do we think here? It's extremely cute. Yeah. This is creative. I think these would look really nice on James's E30. I think he'd be fine with it too. Get rid of this gold crap, you know? Okay, one little ducky installed. All right, well this one's easy for me. My shockers are aligned. I think the only way they could be cooler is if they actually had like a little LED in there. So they glue all the time? I love the past tense of glow that you're using. <laughs> <laughs> so they glue all the time? So I guess they did something in my car. While I walk over to check it out, I'm gonna remind you to go to any Zoomies in North America or select blue tomatoes in Europe and get yourself some donut workwear, including this shirt. These pants, Zach's hat, 
What did you do to my car? Well, you know, you just spent 6,000 bucks on these wheels and it seemed like you didn't really finish them. Oh, gee. Oh. Are those ducks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. They supposedly glow in the dark. Oh. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, we gave it a passing grade. I thought they were cute and cool. They work. Really? I was figuring they need some sunlight. Let's see here. Yeah. Dude, these are sick. Thanks, boys. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no car is complete without four rubber duckies. <laughs> yeah. You know exactly the kind of stuff that I like. <laughs> these are great. Where'd you put the other ones? We threw them away. Figured you weren't going to need them. We got your rubber ducky ones. All right, next product. This next XC product is going to solve one of the world's biggest problems. This product's called the Sip Sanctuary, and it's Phenomenal the name. unrivaled four-in-one wooden cup holder. And it only costs $14.99. And some assembly is required. Wow. Looks well made. It does. This is, this is like the realest product yet, I think. OK, what is going on here? It's like a child's game. Is this, is that, I think this is, what the? Maybe I think this is supposed to go like this. And then that, and then this, and then that. Wait, that can't work, because that's not long that enough. slides on the... Oh, I see it. We just got it all backwards. And then this goes like this. This scores like this. And this will just be the bottom for that. And then a ba ba a ba ba That thing looks like it is unrivaled. Honestly? Pretty smart. Let's go try it in a car and see what we think. Cool. So is as simple as... Or is it the other way? Either way, it seems to work. I need a cup. Don't worry, I got all the drinks. Hey. Listen, I am all for having a nice cup holder set up, but this is just dumping lot. my vibes into the dirt. I yeah. hate this thing. Oh. This is a lot. You lose like your arm space. It does what it's set out to do, and I can't fault it for that, but you're not gonna find me using that anytime ever. Same. So vibes are killed. Yeah. You can crush my vibes. Well made though. All right, Justin, what do we have next? We have another cup holder tool, but it's to hold something else. Ah, the Zen holder. Mm. So it takes one of your cup holders, turns it into a better Zen holder. It probably was already a pretty good Zen holder. So this one is purpose built for a third gen Tacoma, which we don't have. So we'll just have to imagine. How much? It's $30. 30 bucks. If I got into somebody's car and I was like, is that a Zen holder? <laughs> I would be simultaneously a little bit disappointed, but also kind of impressed. I, my vibes are feeling like they've been crushed. Yeah, this is crushing my vibes as well. Yeah, just unnecessary. Now let's move on to what's next. All right, so Etsy is known for making custom made to order stuff, personalized stuff, maybe with your name on it. Uh, sort of like the record player that you could put your picture on earlier. Yeah. So we got some personalized items and now we're gonna look at them. We have personalized gift, customized embroidery monogram with car logo, auto truck, SUV seat, headrest cover. So a monogram headrest cover. These, I know right where these are going. We've got some customized Mustang Nolan Sykes with the olive branches. Is his car here? Yeah, the Mustang's here, yeah. Let's go find it. All right, Nolan doesn't know we're installing these, but I know he's gonna love them. Bam, done. Easy as that. And it looks so good. <laughs> Nolan, what do you think? I mean, oh. <laughs> oh, no way. This is just like Pimp My Ride. No way. Yeah, come on in, Nolan. Come dude, on, dude, we know that you like Mustangs <laughs> and your name. So we put your initials and a Mustang logo in your Mustang. Uh, thank you guys so much. You're welcome, dude. Are you like, feeling like your chakras are all aligned? I feel fine, I feel good. Are you gonna keep them though, Nolan? I'll keep them on for like a day. Ah, so them. that's a no. Yeah. That's a no. Yeah. That is really thoughtful. But it really, <laughs> really trash. It's really trash my vibe right now though. For our next customized product from Etsy, we have automobile car name art. Mm, personalized gift for the car enthusiast and auto mechanic. Yeah. Made in the USA. Uh, cool. This is in 20 plus people's carts right now. And it costs a whopping 60 bucks and up. So we got one here for Donut. Wow. So it's just pictures of different things that are automotive related. Oh. I guess that's pretty much what exactly is in the picture, but it's way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. And I thought these are all actually gonna be like individual like pieces or something, not just one printed 
picture. Kill my vibe. Yeah, I, can my tell. Vibe. I can detect the dip in vibes. <laughs> that said, I think we should hang it. Anyway. <laughs> All right, well that did a damage to my vibe. That's, yeah, get that, that out of here, Jimmy. Thank you. And bring me something that's gonna fix my vibe. Car freshies, car decor, custom gift, personalized gift. That baby scared me. 1295. 137 people bought this in the last 24 hours. And look, look at that face. Not gonna do it for him, huh? That's my car. That's your That's car? That's literally my car. Aww. I can tell by the reflection of my palm tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Henry asked me for a picture of my car recently and I, I just figured I'll find out what this is for eventually. <laughs> and eventually is now. That's so beautiful. I'm gonna put this in my GX. Dude. My shockers are so aligned. This is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me in my life. For our next Etsy product, we have a $20 light switch plate. That's a Honda VTEC light switch plate cover. 3D printed again. Yeah. I think 92% of Etsy these days is 3D Yeah, which products. makes sense. I mean, it's an in-home manufacturing process, basically, so I can respect it. It's the future. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I would put this in my garage or yeah. shop or something, for sure. Nolan would love this. Mm, he's yeah. building a B-series. Oh, 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 I think, yeah. I know, another shocker just snapping. Oh, oh, I don't think it's supposed to feel like that. <laughs> All right, so our next Etsy products, we have some stuff for the Civic. Great. New favorite car. Great. Uh, we have $40 52 millimeter dual gauge pod mounts for 92 to 95 Honda Civic EG functional window vent. Uh, okay, well. So it gets rid of your, it gets rid of your vent. Well, no, get... it maintains your vent. Oh. You see that? It goes from being a vent that is this size-ish to being a vent that is this size -ish. So it's like hella concentrated. Do the wires go through the venting system? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Back. You got a passageway. I don't have any extra gauges that I need to put in the thing, but let's go install this and see how it fits, looks, and uh, we'll imagine how it would operate. Oh, come on. Okay. Wow, okay, so you got a little lever there. Okay, I mean, that's as far down as it goes, isn't it? It's pretty freaking wobbly, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, they got the right idea with like having that long arm that goes under, but this side just isn't enough to really keep in place. I, <laughs> I think under heavy turning, braking, accelerating, that, that's liable to come out after a while. So I hate it. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we do have a couple gauges in this car. And at one point we had them here, which I thought was really nice. And we've since moved them to here, which is a little bit more visible and they're nicely mounted there. So it's not like you're lacking places to put gauges in this car. Mm. So I don't know, for me, it's not a great product and it's got my vibes down in the dumps. All right, Zach, so the gauge pod may not be super useful for us right now, sure. but I think this next product will be super useful. Okay. It's a quick release steering wheel hook. Oh, sure, I've seen this type of thing. It is $11.99, which is in five cards. I think this is a, like a good use. This is gonna be a 3D printed product. Uh, it's simple, it does serve a purpose. Uh, let's see if it goes. Ooh, crank that <laughs> ISO. Oh, all right, let's see if the sun visor clicks into this thing. Yes, it does. Very well, in fact. Pretty good. This is probably the most important thing, that this doesn't let the sun visor flop out at you while you're driving. Now, let's see if it does its intended duty of holding my steering wheel. Well. Wow, who would have thought? It does, yeah. I don't hate it. I mean, I'm probably just gonna leave it installed. Yeah, leave it there. So now, I guess uh, it's aligning cool. my chakras. Yeah, I say my chakras are aligned. All right, so Etsy kind of surprised us. It wasn't as cheesy of stuff as I was kind of expecting. My chakras are feeling more aligned than ever. I've never been more aligned in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.